Hey, this is John Henry Sheridan, the Love Dinosaur, and today I got a really brief but powerful message for you, which is this. Get creative! Get creative. Yes, yes, you! You, you. you were born to be creative. You were born to thrive. You were born to let your light shine. Yes, you. So now, I want to give you a little inspiration uh, as to how you can be creative. Maybe if you're not sure, you don't got much time, change the profile pic on your social media, if you have that. Maybe when you choose your food today, choose a different spice, or add a certain fruit that you don't normally add. Or, <clears throat> create a playlist of your favorite videos. Create a playlist of your favorite music. These are all ways you have creative control, in very small everyday ways. Of course you can create your own videos, you can create your own content, you can create your own music, art, poetry, sculpture, etc. But even the smallest way, you can get creative. The way you play with toys with your children can be creative. So here are five books that really inspire me to be creative and, and live the most joyful expression of my life. Maybe you'll be interested too. I'll put the links below to the books. Okay, book one, in no particular order, book one, Wisdom Meets Passion by Dan Miller and Jared Angaza. That's a father and son who wrote this book together. It's basically uh, for, you know, realizing your own life and career goals uh, and seen from the perspective of two different generations. It's pretty cool. Um, it's like... The print is in red, then it's in black. The red is when the son writes, black is when the dad writes. Um, they talk about the similar topics from pretty different viewpoints. It's pretty cool. Uh, it, it just helps you think out of the box for sure. Approaching the Natural, a Health Manifesto by Sid Garza Hillman, um, who's a nutritionist, author, philosopher, and parent. Um, it's not a health book, uh, so, I mean it is a health book, it's not a food book, although he talks about food, talks about exercise, talks about a little bit about meditation, journaling. Um, it's just a really down to earth and funny, but, but practical, practically useful book, I mean very easy to read, you know, pretty short, and it's got this really cool um, material that the cover's made out of, um, which he talks about how to make sense of life in this busy, what he says, nutty nut nut world. Um, I highly recommend it and check out his uh, podcast too called Approaching the Natural and his YouTube channel. And third, Lynchpin, Are You Indispensable by Seth Godin. Now, uh, Seth Godin's this guy who, like, like a marketing genius, uh, quoted and referenced by so many people. Um, it annoyed me for a while. I'm like, why is this guy, why does everyone like this guy? You know, I don't want to like him because he was just too popular. Then I read his books. I'm like, okay, I see. It's worth it. He's challenging you. He's not saying he's great or anything like that, but he's challenging you to, to really break through your own boundaries and create something. And, and to see that the old model of the world, the, the factory model is dying. So it helps us to be creative and just like pursue a you know, embrace this uh, this new world that we're in fully and, and, and benefit from it. And fourth, The Wisdom of Insecurity by Alan Watts. If you never read this book, if you never read anything by Alan Watts, what are you waiting for? This guy was ahead of his time as a philosopher for sure. Uh, he's really the one who got me interested in uh, Eastern philosophy. Um, well, I was interested, but he's the first one who actually made it make sense to me when I was uh, in my early 20s, and now I practice Buddhism, um, not the Buddhism that he was speaking of, but uh, definitely it was related to him opening my eyes to the wisdom of the East. Um, so anyway, this book is about, you know, why uh, trying to be secure and stable is actually not even, there's no wisdom there. So, um, Check it out. It's just, he's great art, makes great arguments that are just so convincing and, and encouraging. Unleash the artist within. Four weeks to transforming your creative talents into more recognition, more profit, and more fun by Bob Baker. And you can see at the top it says for artists, writers, musicians, actors, photographers, crafters, and more. 
Um, if you're in any of those fields, definitely worth uh, taking a look at it. Uh, and even if you're not, um, if you do have creative talents that you'd like to get out into the world more and more, this might be worth a look for you. Uh, Bob Baker is a great reference. Uh, he encourages me. Uh, I would say he's my career mentor in terms of um, helping me figure out how to get stuff done, get it out into the market, promote it, and actually feel good about myself as a human being while doing this. Uh, so anyway, uh, check it out, Bob Baker, and you can go to promoteyourcreativity.com or bob slash bob-baker.com, no slash. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you're uh, feeling more creative and inspired to go out and do something creative in the world. Whether it's a small, tiny thing, whether it's a bigger thing, it all contributes to you realizing your full potential as a creative creature. So please express yourself today. If you like this video, please subscribe, share it, um, leave a comment below, and uh, I'd love to hear about what you think about these books, and maybe if you have other books that you want to spread the word about, leave them in a comment below. Thank you so much. Take care. Yes, getting creative with my son's toy car. Here we go. Oh yeah! Yeah, welcome to my studio. Okay, see you later.